now. Dingana really is the most pure, elemental, simple, straightforward sports car you can get. Second and third generation, they're kind of evolutions of the one before. The fourth generation is so radically, aesthetically different in terms of just look at the design. It's, it's shockingly beautiful. Major improvement of the MX-5 is the weight reduction. In terms of reducing weight for the MX-5, we basically have a strategy called the Gram strategy. The Gram strategy says look at everything on the car. Today is an important test for the new Mazda MX-5 Miata. For more than two decades, we've pushed the limits of engineering by creating all our MX-5s with near-perfect 50-50 balance, front to rear. And that's with a driver behind the wheel. To put our money where our mouth is, we constructed this steel fulcrum balance structure. Our driver will roll out the MX-5 to dead center. The platform is extremely sensitive. Even the slightest weight fluctuation can throw it off. If we've done our job, the MX-5 will hold perfectly level without being the least bit out of balance. Having the, the weight distribution 50-50 makes the car behave more predictably uh, and more consistently. Weight is the single most important factor in developing this car. When you're trying to make a car perform well, you can do it with brute force, with lots of power and big tires, or you can go completely the opposite way and reduce the amount of work that the car has to do to respond to the driver's input by making it lighter. Mazda has attempted to recreate a classic in an entirely new form, improving its performance without jeopardizing its original concept as a true roadster. There are so many cars now that are about point A to point B transportation. And the MX-5 is really a driving car. There's a real freedom and enjoyment in driving a roadster like the MX-5. It's a unique driving experience. It's an authentic driving experience. But will the latest version live up to its predecessors? Does the new MX-5 have the same legendary precision? To be able to get into this piece of artwork, climb into it and suddenly have this power to go anywhere and do anything. There's a there's just a fundamental freedom to that, that that's so amazing. And we believe that building a car that's as pure as the MX-5 represents who we are. And it's something that is kind of the compass that guides the production of all of our other products. And for Mazda, driving does matter. Driving a car like this matters. Making cars like this matters.